Ahoy hoy everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. My name is Kaylin and this is the Nostalgia Tree Gaming Channel. In the last episode we got a contract to eliminate a pirate and eliminate the pirate we did. Very well actually, I was very surprised with our sneaking prowess. Um, and we received a new contract to eliminate a wood elf who lives in the lovely Baruma. Um, and we were waiting until 8pm so we could sneak into his house to eliminate him. Or 8 or 9. Same, same. Um, so in the meantime, Ziz, we got ourselves involved in, uh, in quite a treacherous... Uh, love affair where um, we can't quite tell who's telling the truth uh, so we sided with um, the female and then we spent some time in prison with the male and then sided with the male and then went back to the female and now we're siding with the female again for now for now who knows what's gonna happen um, oh also we um, this guy off in the distance, this one here. He came up to us and, and, and said that apparently the Countess has been, uh, has requested our presence. Uh, which is interesting. So, um, it says here, I've met a Nord named Tolgan. Apparently he's the herald of Countess Narina Cavain from here in Bruma. He presented me with a stipend of gold and a request from the Lady Carvain to meet her at the castle. Not wanting to offend the Countess, I should accept the request and make my way there when she holds court. Um, <clears throat> and it's only 12pm, so depending on how long this quest takes to wrap up, we might actually go and pay her a visit. Perhaps. <laughs> Um, the other interesting thing I forgot to mention in the last episode is that as of the last episode, I have officially posted the first video of this series up on YouTube. So, um, I am officially posting, which is insane and really cool. Um, so I, yeah, I, I managed to edit the video fine, which was amazing. Um, but also, just before I started recording this episode, I discovered a way to get my mic sounding even better for me, which doesn't really bother you. But I'm hoping when I, re when I listen to this audio after I'm finished, that it will sound better for you guys. And that would be amazing. So I'm really stoked. I'm really excited. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. Finish up this uh, situation here. So this is two sides of the coin. I've convinced Anora to give me her amulet. However, I've agreed to split the gold with her. She gave me the key to unlock the chest next to her bed. Inside is the amulet of Jorunda. Oh, sorry. Inside is the amulet that Jorunda is looking for. I should retrieve it and bring it to Bruma Castle Dungeon. And uh, I don't know why I don't have a weapon on me. Why am I in a prison outfit? Oh, because <laughs> we got arrested. My God. <sighs> That's awkward. I just I just went back to Honora in a prison outfit. Didn't even realize. All right, let's go ahead and put back on our shrouded armor and our weathered circlet and our black band. Alrighty, we are ready to roll again, and I've got another pair of uh, this stuff which we can get rid of somewhere. Alrighty. Um, also in the inventory we should have, there we go, Anora's true amulet, which we picked up from the chest as well. So let's go ahead and go see our good friend Jorunda. Wee! Here's the, uh, chapel to tell us. Who is the, um, forbidden god in Skyrim. 200 years after the events of this game. Interesting. How are you? Well, I'm good, thank I you. I, have a moment. What is it? I, d I wasn't interested in you. I was trying to talk to the guard. He was quite nice. It's quite a nice guard. How are you? Alrighty, let's go into the prison. Yes. Keys. <clears throat> I won't turn the wrong way this time. Down here. 
Do, 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 do. Sneak past old mate here. He doesn't have to know. Oh, do I have to unlock it again? Oh. That's annoying. Oh, for goodness sake. Thank you. Alrighty. Jorunda, here we come. Hello. Show me the proof. Stolen gold. I've got the amulet. So she's dead, eh? <laughs> Finally. Finally, someone has wiped that stupid smug grin off her face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the North Gate. Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. Hmm. Indeed. Alrighty, let's uh, sneak back out of here. Not that I think the guard will care. We got away with the lock picking, so bye, mate. See ya. None the wiser. Heard voices from the other room. Doesn't care. He's got better things to do. Alrighty. So now I'm assuming we go retrieve the gold. Where is it? map okay so it's really really close <laughs> excellent <clears throat> do, 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 do. yeah so now we go retrieve the gold and uh will we give anora half i don't know we'll find out we shall find out i'd like to keep it all depending on how much it is actually it doesn't really matter how much it is i'd like to keep it all Who are you? I'm here oh. for Jorunda's gold. <gasps> what? And you're my only loose end. I've been hoping to get someone in his cell and loosen his lips, and then you showed up. You really should be more careful when you talk in the dungeons. The sound tends to carry. I just said that Jorunda's too. You're such an idiot. <laughs> I've taken care of Anora. What? She won't be around to point the finger. Oh. And Jorunda's not going anywhere for a long time. That just leaves you. Bring it, mate. You messed with the wrong girly. Show me what you've got. Oh, I am. I'm currently showing you what I've got. This is the part where you <laughs> Alrighty, I've killed a corrupt guard named Tyrellius. Logolus. Near the stash loot. Apparently he had overheard my conversation with Jorunda in the Bruma Castle dungeons and wanted the gold for himself. Cheeky. Cheeky. I think he's also killed Arnora. I can now recover the gold unhindered. Oh, amazing. I love how that journal entry was very much on our side of like Yeah, we're gonna murder everyone and take all the gold. All right, so, um, interesting, interesting. His armor is really nice, and I could sell it for a bit, but how much have I got in terms of carry weight? Oh, it's very light, anyway. Just four gold. <laughs> no worries. All right. Rest in peace, Tyrellius. Okay, let's go get this gold. There it is. Right there. I found the treasure that Jorunda concealed. I should go check to see if Tyrellius was telling the truth about Arnora. Oh, I don't really want to, though. Ooh. 65 gold. Oh my god, I'm not... No, I'm not sharing that. No way known. We did all that for bloody 65 gold. Mm-mm. I make more at the arena bloody fighting wild animals. Alrighty, let's go see if she's alive or dead. Who will help an old beggar? All right, I'll help I you. I can see you are a kind soul, gentle lady. Have a coin. Thank you, kind lady. Interesting. Interesting, very interesting. And you, beggar man. 
Hi there. <clears throat> Not me just hopping through Bruma, causing chaos. Alrighty, let's go. Was that her house? Alright, I've found Anora's body in her house. Tyrellius has indeed killed her. I should probably leave before the town guard thinks I had something to do with it. On the bright side, all of Jorinda's gold is now mine. <laughs> Someone's dead, but on the bright side. My god, this game is morbid. Oh, that's a lovely pose to die in. With the eyes wide open. Jesus. Alrighty. She's got eight gold, no worries, no worries. Um, what else? I've already checked her house, but maybe she's got something new. No, it's exactly the same. Garrett, oh, did I check that chest? Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, already checked it. All right, okay, let's get out of here. So it does say we should leave town, but um, I suspect nothing. Head on, Head on. okay. I will. Um, I suspect nothing bad will happen. In any case, I will save here. Just, just in case. You never know, you never know. Jagasta. Broch Kellis. Olav's tap. Hello. Hello. Are you Olav? No, you're Onga. Hi, Onga. I'm your relief. How you doing? Did those guards just go, I'm your relief? I know. <laughs> I haven't time for fools. I'm not a fool. I'm going to talk to you. We're looking for recruits. Oh. Think you're tough enough to join the Fighters Guild? Ooh, interesting. Tell me about Bruma, though. Yeah. You think Bruma's cold? Try a winter in the Rothgarians. Bruma's a day at the beach. I doubt that. Um, <clears throat> any rumors? We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. We have no emperor mm. and no heir. Mm. That's never happened before. Mm. I suppose we should all be worried. I suppose we should bump. Oh, my cat wants out. Um, guys, quick pause. My cat wants out. Alrighty. Okay, cat's out of the room. Um, and this orc has just been standing here looking at us for a couple of minutes. So, um, tell us about the Fighters Guild. If you're looking to join up, you should speak with Valena Daunton in Coral, Azan in Anvil, or Burr's Grokash in Chadenhall. Okay. Not going to remember any of that. <laughs> join the Fighters Guild. If you're interested, see Valena <coughs> Daunton in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, oh, sorry. or Burr's Grokash in Chadenhall. Yeah, you just said that. <laughs> now the quest gets uh, added. Join the guild. You won't regret it. Okay. God, she looks like a bean sprout. A bean sprout in tinfoil. Okay. Um, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. What's the time, everybody? So, we, we concluded that, didn't we? We concluded, um... Yep, yeah, all done. Beautiful. So, given that it's only nearly 2.30, uh, let's go ahead... I know, slight detour, guys. I could have just waited, but let's go ahead and... Oh, but it's a really long quest, isn't it? But we don't want to keep her waiting, right? Right? You don't want to keep a countess waiting. What am I doing with my... <laughs> All right, so we're going to do Lifting the Veil, and I won't reread it because I read it earlier, but let's go visit... Um, <clears throat> Miss Carvain. Corvain? Carvain? Not sure. We'll find out. Alrighty. Go ahead. I'm not. I don't have anything for you, sir. Yes. Yes. Oh, also I have to level up. What? What is it? I forgot. Um. Between now and oh, sorry, last episode and now. All right, there she is. She wore blue velvet. It's a pleasure to see you. And you? All right, sorry guys, I had to reload this because my cat was outside the door meowing and it was showing up on my mic and Miss Carvain was talking away and the cat was just going meow, 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 meow. So I reloaded it so I can redo it again and we can actually enjoy the dialogue. Cool? Cool. All right, let's go. What is it? There she is in the distance wearing blue velvet. Hello. 
I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. Interesting. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Evidently. I don't even remember how much it was, but yep. That's why I'm here. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. Mm -hmm. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Sure. Well, it's safe to say I'm, I'm a collector of sorts. Oh. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil. That is bold. Perhaps even beyond. Very bold. Except for one thing. Oh, what's that? A particular relic has eluded me for many years. <clears throat> Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm, of course, referring to the Draconian Madstone. Of course. <laughs> this is going to be one of these episodes where the cats just cause absolute chaos in the background. Ah, <sighs> Get cats, they said. It'll be fun. They said. All right, uh, tell me about Bremer first. Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. That is such a politician line. Love to hear it. Uh, any rumours? I can't believe it. The Grey Prince has been beaten. There's a new arena grand champion now. Someone called Lady Luck. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. All right. Uh, buy a house in town? I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Eh, okay, but you s trust me enough to send me on a potentially life-threatening mission to find your draconian madstone woman. All right, uh, maybe we'll ask her again. Um, I think. Yes? Ooh, 47. Okay, we're not too bad on the disposition there. However, I'm sure that'll go up once we find her madstone. Um, alrighty. Tell me about this draconian madstone, then. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake Might keep coiled that for around myself. and encircling itself. Mm -hmm. The eyes of the snake are supposed <clears throat> to be precious gems or some such. <laughs> Through my sources... I've learned that the last reported location of the Madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Tell me about Pale Pass, then. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Nope. <sighs> no. Back at the end of the First Era, raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, the Empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now northern Cyrodiil. The Akaviri were strong and well supplied. Mm -hmm. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They Idiots. didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the Trident Kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind, he struck at their rear flank. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's uh, backtrack. Who's Raymond Cyrodiil? You must be joking, right? Nope. Who hasn't heard of the greatest known hero of the First Age? This girl. Raymond Cyrodiil not only was the conqueror of the Akaviri forces, <clears throat> but he actually convinced them to help build the Empire as it is today. It's probably who this uh, With such an empire at his country is named after. He conquered most of Tamriel, except Morrowind, of course, and was crowned Emperor. In fact, he instituted the rites of becoming an Emperor which included the construction of the Amulet of Kings. I see. You his alliance with Lord Vivek during thing? the Akaviri invasion is just one example of his <clears> cunning <throat> and ingenuity. Right. Imagine if we just whipped out the Amulet of Kings was like, you mean this thing? The shock on her face, she'd be shook to a core. She'd be like, forget that mad stone, I want that one. All right. So the alliance ended the conflict? Not quite. 
The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaviri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. The only strange part was that the command post and Pale Pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumour and the army of Raymond celebrated. It's come to my attention that the post did exist and it happens to be the last reported location of the draconian Madstone. Radio then. Okay. I feel like I fixed my mic, but it's picking up on things that it really, really shouldn't be picking up on, like my breathing right now. I could be wrong, guys. I won't know until I listen to it in post. Um, this. <laughs> God, cats. Mic issues. I'm, I hope the mic sounds better. We'll find out. All right. Anything else to add about this draconian madstone? If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? Oh, I'm game. I'm so game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. <clears throat> then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. All right, chop chop. I've come into the possession of a diary written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Interesting. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. Okay. I'm also providing <clears throat> you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. Let's hope so. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> She has a lot to say. Um, all right, tell me more about the diary. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. Mm -hmm. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. Thank you. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter, cold, and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious, and return home soon. Good luck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you have more to say about the diary? The messenger's diary will make a nice companion to the madstone in my collection. Okay. All right, tell me more about this madstone. The madstone awaits, and so does your reward if you retrieve it. Mm-hmm, I'm down for that. Are you guys down for that? I'm down for that. May the path ahead be free of danger. It's probably not going to be, and I think you know that. Suspicious. All right, let's go. Let's go on our merry way. Okay, so that's where we need to go. Cool, 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 cool. Let's roll. Oh my god. I'm listening. That was freaky, man. I reckon that woman should have become a history teacher instead of a countess. Though I doubt she had uh, much choice in the matter. Alrighty. Okay, let's hoppity hop hop hop. Oh, <laughs> oh poor guy. Destined to remain forever naked. Out in the bitter cold. Oh well, he shouldn't have tried to kill me. Right? That's what happens when you try to kill me. Am I going the right way? Am I going to get stuck in a... Uh, ye old uh, mountain climbing? Because I am not a good mountain climber. That is a fact. About damn time. Ah, lovely. Nothing like a brisk hop across the Gerald Mountains. Um, yeah, I don't 
don't... Ooh, hello. I don't know why I put up a... A block like I can block his... Um, magic. I can't. Oh, there's another one up there. Okay, lovely, lovely. Let's go take care of him. Just for the skills, because we did lose a blade skill in... Um... Oh. Oh. Okay, convenient. I've reached the second landmark, the Sentinel. I should consult the messenger's diary once again to discern the way to the third landmark. Well, that was convenient. Oi. Thank you. That was really weird. Because, um, we didn't even make it to the first. I didn't even get to show you. I've got to go show you. I've got to show you guys. Um, 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 dragon rock, surely. Unless it's just a rock and then I've just wasted everybody's time, in which case I'll probably cut it out. But, um, can't leave you guys like that. We didn't even, there we go. Okay, we found, what? What is it? Oh, there. <laughs> They're really cute little me me me. Ah, wouldn't mind an imp for a pet. Mm, quite sweet. Alrighty, so okay, good stuff. That was probably a major waste of our time. So where was it? it was sort of up here-ish. Was that where we went? Oh, yeah, let's whip out the diary. Show you all the diary. There we go. Akaviri diary translation. Um, it's very long. It's very long. Oh, it's not that long. Um, I thought it had the, the picture. There we go. Pale pass map. There we go. Okay, so there's uh, Dragon Rock where we just were. Then we go to the Sentinel. Um, which apparently we discovered, um, uh, that's why the pop-up happened. But, um, I didn't, when we, did, when that pop-up happened, I didn't see a sentinel. I just saw an imp. You know, good old-fashioned imp. But I'm assuming, um, oh god, I'm gonna get stuck. I'm assuming it's up here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Ta-da! And then I found Serpent's Trail, no worries. And there's the Sentinel. Mm, he looks like he's been weathered. He's seen some tough, brutal northern weather. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus. I didn't expect that. Take his gall. There's another one. Take his gall. And here we are. Easy as that. Easy as that. So let's help, hop into our sneak mode so we can uh, do a little sneaky sneak through the dungeon. Alright. I found the third landmark, the Serpent's Trail, which seems to be an underground passage. I need to traverse this passage if I am to find the ruins. Indeed. So let's be a sneaky sneaker. And uh, hopefully uh, gain some, uh, some solid sneaking uh, skill in, um, in this little side quest that we're doing. That would be good, that would be nice. As, as I said earlier, uh, one of the biggest reasons that I stopped... Uh, okay, that didn't work. It's not like Skyrim, I guess. Um, one of the biggest reasons that I stopped the Thieves Guild... Well, I didn't stop it, but that I paused it. Is um, that I got a little... Ooh... Okay, nice, nice. We can sell that. Gold, ruby. I'll leave the steel boots. We don't need them. Um, yeah, that I worried that we'd get to some quest that uh, I'd really struggle with because I struggled with the um, the ring quest. You know, the ring quest, surely. Has... When's he going to see me? Turn around. 
What are you doing? Turn around. Go away. Alright, I've just <laughs> it's all the way over there. I've discovered the body of the messenger who penned the diary I've been carrying. Even though he died over a thousand years ago, the bones have been well preserved by the frost in the caves. He seems to be clutching something in his bony hand. I should investigate. Alright. Let's go investigate this bony hand. Imagine if that was the drag uh the what do you call it? The madstone. Akaviri orders. That would be nice and easy. <laughs> Quest over. Alright, near the body of the messenger, I've discovered a slate tablet uh, with what appears to be Akaviri writing on its surface. These, that sounded like service. Surface. These must be the orders the messenger spoke about in the diary. Oh. <laughs> All that good preservation and we just knocked his arm off. Yeah, I don't need bone meal, thanks. All goods. Has, oh, is he turned around? Beautiful. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my god. One hit. Some ogre's teeth. Wonderful. Alright, hurry up again. Yay, my sneak's increasing. Wonderful. It's what I wanted. No, there. Um, no, oh, don't need your arrows. Oh, there's a dog. Oh my god, I thought he was going to turn around and see us. Okay, he did, he saw us. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Stay back here, guys. Stay back here. <gasps> Is he going to come around the corner? I don't know. <laughs> Terrifying. Stay still. There we go. I was going to say, that dog sort of took out that much health. I'm sure we wouldn't want to come up against an ogre. Oh my god. Will I ever get good at lockpicking? <laughs> I don't know. Some gold, wonderful. Cure disease. Uh, charisma. Interesting. Did I take his teeth? I did. Beautiful. Alright. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, I remember this being a longer quest. See, it's it's already 6pm. Um, I guess we'll have to kill Banelin in the next episode. Annoyingly. Alright. Sneaky sneak. Do do do. Okay, goody. Good, good, good. Really don't want to come up against one of those um, ogres. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. That was all the way in the distance, and that dog is not dead. Wolf, sorry, not dog. <laughs> the, do the dogs in this game and, and the wolves look exactly the same. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my god, I'm so good at this. Watch me go. I really wish that caps lock thing wouldn't pop up there. It's kind of immersion breaking. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, the dog is gone. More sneak skill. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, okay. Quiet as a mouse. Quite as a mouse. Woof woof woof. Okay, beautiful. It's just that easy. You've just got wolf pelt, no worries. Oh god, I thought that was another ogre. Oi!
Or maybe it was the imps that took out a lot of our health. I don't know. You know how in Skyrim it's like up, up on the top of the screen? It's like super, super visible. I just sort of forget about the health bar in Oblivion because it's so little and out of the way. Alrighty. We're not even here. See? Not even here. Amazing. Gonna have to find um, someone to sell all these imp teeth to. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, another door. We're making progress. Are we making progress? The quest marker's sort of gone. Oh, I didn't read the diary. Oh my god, I'm a nugget. I'm a nugget. Ah, oh dear. Where is it? Where is it? No? No, not no. It's not that. That one? No, it's not that. Oh, I didn't even read that in that episode. Oh my god, what a dickhead. <laughs> that's the map. Oh, that's a skill book. We definitely should have read that when we picked it up. Oh, and that's a skill book too. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Um, where is it? Oh, there. Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm still doing the right thing. All right, let's go to the Pale Pass. I think that's where she said. There we go. I've emerged from Serpent's Trail and find myself face-to-face -face with the legendary Pale Pass. A path winds down into the snowy valley. If I follow it, it should lead me directly to the ruins. Wonderful. Is this technically Skyrim, I wonder? Or are we still in Cyrodiil? I suppose we're still in Cyrodiil. No worries. I just know in, um, uh, I was talking about it in the first episode of this series in Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Um, the Serpent's Trail comes in on, um, on this side in Skyrim. So, I wonder, I wonder. But it seems to be no big deal. Um, do I have a bow? I don't know if I have a bow. Oh, I do. Wonderful. Let's whip that out so we can try and get some archery skill while we're out here in the in the vulnerable open. Um, so even though we're in the light, if we do get... To, am I going the right way? Where's this path? Yeah, it came into the grass. Oh, no, there. Oh, my God. Yeah, so now that we're in the light, um, at least we can keep these ogres at a distance so we don't get absolutely uh, destroyed by them. Some more ogre teeth. Thank you. They're heavy, I think, ogre teeth. How much are they? Three. Yeah, they're three whole um, carry weight thingies. Kilos? They're going to be kilos, I suppose. Why wouldn't they be kilos? Oh, he saw me. How rude. Means I didn't get that pivotable, pivotable, pivotal. Oh, he's stuck on a rock. <laughs> Bliss. Oh, no, both of them noticed us. The pivotal, um, he's also stuck on a rock. Amazing. Sneak shot. Thank you, brain. Goodness. Uh uh. Stay back. Oh my god. I got stuck on something. A rock. Alrighty. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't know why I couldn't think of sneak shot there. The uh, time six sneak damage. Which I'm actually not sure if with a bow and arrow it's time six, but it makes a difference any any uh, way. Um, a lot of ogres around here, like a lot, a lot of ogres. But I keep looking at alchemical ingredients, like I actually do alchemy in this game, and I don't. It's because in Skyrim I actually genuinely like alchemy, and I I try and pick up all of the ingredients and all the unique ingredients. I think the first time I ever played um, 
Skyrim, I was thinking of Oblivion, and I totally ignored um, alchemy because I was like, ugh, I hate alchemy. What's the point of alchemy? Because I couldn't figure it out in Oblivion, but then my second or third playthrough of Skyrim, I was like, oh my god, alchemy is the bomb. I love it. Okay, I messed that up majorly. Too busy talking. Oh, come on. Not going to get any of those arrows back. Oh, four, actually. That's pretty good. <sighs> I just vividly imagine the hero of Kavach just with, like, a pair of pliers ripping out Ogre's teeth at the end of every, um, Ogre kill they do. <laughs> a lovely thought, I'm sure. Okay, so I've seen one up there. Nope, he saw me. Wonderful. Don't move. Don't. Stop it. Stop running to the side. Okay, I'm stuck on a rock again. Get out of it. Come on, just die. Thank you. I just hate going backwards. Because now we've got to go again. Annoying. I was really hoping he wouldn't see us. I thought we had him. Oh, God. Unfortunately, there's not a lot to comment on. Um, on the old uh, Pale Pass Road. It's all rather um, basic. Some really cool locations in this game, but this... This is not one of them. It's just kind of... I've discovered the crumbled walls of the once mighty Fort Pale Pass. It appears to have been destroyed by a landslide long ago. I should proceed into the ruins to search for the Madstone. Indeed. Where was, where was the entry? I can't see an entry. Oh god. These ogres are so good at getting stuck on things, it's amazing. Oi! Get back here! Thank you, thank you, thank you. One septum, always good. Um, yeah, where the hell is it? Where is it? What am I missing, guys? Am I missing something pivotal, something important? Hmm. Maybe, maybe they're talking about these guys, maybe it is further up the way. Um, oh there, oh there, look, it's right there, it's a bleeding great big fort, how did, how did you miss it? Actually these ogres seem to be rather vulnerable to the fireball, which is good. I am using magic so much more than I ever did in, um, any other playthrough of Oblivion I ever did. So that should tell you how little, oh my god, uh, how little I used magic. What's that? Four shots. If I'd used the bow, it would have been like six or seven. Incredible. I really need to stop picking up these ogre teeth because yes, they weigh a lot and yes, they're, oh, sorry. Yes, they're valuable, I should say. But uh, they weigh so much. And if I find some really cool loot in this fort, it's all over, babes. I'm going to have to get rid of something, and that's not going to be any fun. I also think I'm coming up to um, my Tinder. Um, I think I'm coming up to my limit for episode times, run times. Um which is a bit gutting but I also have to remember there was a 10 minute delay where I had to kick out cats and what else did I do there was something else that interrupted me oh that's right they were meowing outside the door to come back in and um interrupted all of the countess's dialogue which was really frustrating all right any more ogres or did we just walk up all these stairs for no reason yeah, it looks like that's a big fat yes. Alright. 
Let's, um... Oh, didn't mean to do that. I swear I hear something else out here. Something is lurking. Just can't see it. Oh well, big deal. Alright, let's go. Door opened with Akaviri Fort Key. How convenient. I need a drink. I was not expecting a scallywag to be right there. Oh, I might run this um, fort with a bow and my destruction magic. Because, um, oops. <sighs> you don't need it. It weighs 14. It's all good. And it's not even a nice shield. It's a ruined shield. You don't need it. Um, hang on. Turn that heater off, my god. I'm boiling. The ruins appear to be infested with the undead Akviri. I don't know how long they've been trapped here, but I should proceed with caution. I need to locate the Akaviri commander of the fort who is said to possess the draconian madstone. That's a ruined Akaviri sword, yeah? Yeah, okay, don't need that, don't need that. I'll take that back. As far as I am aware, I don't have that many arrows as well, so I will be grabbing some arrows if I find them. How many have I got? Four. Fantastic. Okay, but I've got three silver arrows. That should see me through a couple more enemies, so long as I um, remain in sneak. Good thing this tunnel is extremely luminescent. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Okay, there's one. He can die. Wonderful. Three times damage. Oh, why? I only have so many arrows here. Eat a fireball. Ha! Ah, lovely. Yeah, fireballs are awesome, man. They're Mickey. Bone meal, that's all you got. That's the same soldier. You just checked his skull. Alright, um, I might stop checking them then because they probably don't have anything interesting on them. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, but some of them could be archers, although it doesn't look like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> what? What? Okay, get your sword out. I have two silver long swords, I didn't even realise. Come on. Maybe that is a better shield, though. No, it's definitely not. How much is the fair one? Four. Yeah, that's uh, that's significant, lovely. Better, better keep the uh, fair shield. Um, I'm assuming we should go this way. Definitely looks darker. Um, iron bow. Three silver arrows. Oh, God. Remember how I said earlier in the playthrough? Oh, we'll have heaps of arrows, no worries. Don't have to worry about them. Regretting all those life choices now. Boop. Guys, I have a feeling I might have to split this episode, which is really frustrating. Ah, dear. Very, very frustrating indeed. But it is getting up to an hour now, so I uh, I feel like I probably should. Alrighty, okay. Let's chuck down a save and let's sign off for this episode. Um, should I start saving over stuff? I do have a lot of saves now. Um, yeah, alright, okay. That video is posted. I can definitely save over that. Happy days. Look at me go. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, guys. If you liked it, make sure to let me know by dropping a like down below. Um, if you're enjoying the series and you are watching them all anyway, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. Um, and
and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video drops. Really appreciate any support that you give. Um, and in any case, I hope you have a lovely period of time between this video and the next, however long that may be. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye now.